First of all, you will need a paper and a pencil or pen to write with so you can write down the things you remember. On the following slide, there is a list of words. You will view the list of words while they are read aloud by me. While you are viewing the words and I'm reading, try to memorize as many of the words as possible without writing anything down. This is all memory. Then the words will be removed from the screen and you'll have 30 seconds to write down as many of the words as you can remember. Then that exercise will be repeated two more times with two different groups of words. So in total, there will be three groups of words, 14 words, 15 words, and then 15 words. And then each time you'll have 30 seconds to write down as many as you can remember. No cheating. You have to do this from memory. Are you ready for list number one? Here we go. Rest, tired, awake, dream, snore, bed, eat, slumber, sound, comfort, wake, night, alarm, nap. Okay, write down as many as you can remember. You have 30 seconds. Stop. That's list number one. Are you ready for list number two? Okay. Let's get started on list number two. Sour. Nice. Candy. Honey. Sugar. Soda. Bitter. Chocolate. Good, heart, taste, cake, tooth, tart, and pie. Take one last look. Write down all the words you can remember. You have 30 seconds. Okay, stop. That's list number two. Are you ready for list number three? But let's get started on list three. Are you ready? Here we go. Mad, wrath, fear, happy, hate, fight, rage, hatred, temper, mean, fury, Calm, ire, emotion, and rage. Take one last look. Okay, write down all the words you can remember. You have 30 seconds. Okay, stop. How did you do? Now, count how many words you remembered in each group. You can either keep the numbers separate or total them all up. It doesn't really matter. How many words did you remember? Now, I've done this experiment with well over a thousand people. And here's what I found out. 
If you remember, four or less per group, or maybe about 12 in total or less, that's a low score. If you remember five to nine per group, or between 13 and 27 total, that's about average. And if you remember 10 or more per group, that's 28 up to the total, 44, which is all of them, that's very high. But there's something more important than how many words you remembered. And that is, how accurate were you? Did you actually remember the right words? So I'm going to ask you three questions, and I want you to look at the words that you wrote down from this experiment. And here are the three questions. In the first group, did you remember and write down the word sleep on list one? In the second group, did you remember and write down the word sweet on list two? And on the third list, did you write down either anger or angry for that list? If you did, you were wrong. Those three words didn't appear on any of those lists. Those words were never there. Your mind created a false memory. That's why taking notes during any important meeting Session, conversation, or encounter is critical. If you can't remember words accurately in a three-minute exercise, how will you remember what was said in a 15-minute, one-hour, or three-hour session that took place hours, days, or weeks ago? As the famous Italian poet once said, he listens well who takes notes. There's a great deal of memory research that shows that human memory is notoriously poor. Notes help, especially handwritten notes. Keyboarded notes do not help memory much at all. Taking notes helps with your mental engagement with the conversation. Helps you to listen and focus on what's being said. And non-emotional listening is much better and more accurate. I hope you found this useful and interesting. Thanks for joining me.